When you think about the most dangerous hoods in New Orleans, you think about the classic hoods. The Magnolia, St. Bernard, St. Tom. But what people don't realize is most of those hoods was towed down after Katrina. People would think tearing those hoods down will end a lot of crime or decriminalize a lot of sections. But what they don't realize is it just pushed people out those projects and out those hoods and other areas of the city and made other areas of the city pop. But this right here is the top 10 most notorious hoods in the waters as of today. And the list is 100% accurate. After we explain the most 10 notorious hoods, we gonna go to the most dangerous wars in the city of New Orleans. Now, before I get into the list, I wanna let y'all know that we have restocked our New Orleans playing cards featuring original photography of our wards, bridges, and landmarks. We are currently offering a 20% off discount if you use the promo code NOLA Hoods. Also, if you want to learn more about our hoods, we have a few documentaries on our YouTube, the most popular being Into the Magnolia, the story of CJ Pete Housing Development. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. Now the tent entry on our list is a neighborhood that many locals don't know about. This is because the Venetian Isles are located west of Chef Mentor Highway. The Venetian Isles are mostly uninhabited due to its location. Legally a part of the city, Venetian Isles is separated from the bulk of the developed portion of the city by miles of undeveloped land. In the past, it had the appearance of a small fishing town. In the late 20th century, it saw development as a suburban style bedroom community. The Venetian Isles are home to around 980 New Orleanians. Crime in the Venetian Isles is 314% higher than the national average and 60% higher than the New Orleans average. Coming in at number 9, we have the Desire. Now the Desire is one of the more popular hoods on the list. The Desire is also one of the few hoods to make this list in the 90s and today. This is an area that has a long history that we briefly covered in another video. The Desire is located in the Night Ward and is home to a little over 2,600 people. Violent crime in the Desire is 383% over the national average and it also has a crime rate that's 60% higher than New Orleans. Coming in at number 8 on the list, we have the Lower Night Ward. The Lower Ninth Ward is a neighborhood in New Orleans. It is part of the Ninth Ward. The Lower Ninth Ward is often thought of as the entire area within New Orleans down river of the Industrial Canal. However, the City Planning Commission divides this area into the Lower Ninth Ward and Holy Cross neighborhoods. The Lower Ninth Ward is home to 3,600 people and is 265% over the national crime average. There is also 60% more crime in the Lower Nine than there is in the entire city. Next on the list we have Westlake Forest. Westlake Forest is an area in the New Orleans East that most people would consider a decent place to own a home. I was even surprised when I saw this location pop up on the list. Westlake Forest is home to 4,200 people and has a 73% higher crime rate than New Orleans. This area is also 423% over the national violent crime average. This is an example of displaced residents corrupting other communities. Pines Village is another new entry on the list. This area is located in New Orleans East around Downman. If you thought any of the above entries were bad, you've never been to Pine Village. Pine Village is home to 3,100 New Orleanians with a crime rate that's 89% over the New Orleans average. With a violent crime rating that's 469% over the national average, it's understandable why they're number six on the list. We halfway down the list and St. Cloud is the next hood on our list. St. Cloud is one of the larger areas on the list with around 6,500 residents. This is also the first hood on the list with a crime average that's 100% higher than New Orleans. It also towers over the national crime average by 388%. The next hood on the list is historically notorious for being a dangerous area in New Orleans. In 1994, the Florida Projects and the Desire Projects were named the most dangerous housing developments in the country. Although the desire calmed down a bit, the Florida area is currently 105% over the city's crime average. The Florida area is also 296% over the national average with a little over 1,400 residents. Number three on the list is a little confusing to me. I honestly don't get why they would put the entire seven ward into one category, but let's get on with it. We have an entire documentary on the seven ward dropping at the end of the month, and I'll link it here when it's out. This area is the second largest area in New Orleans with a rich and dark history. 
There are over 10,000 residents in the seventh ward with a crime rate that's 112% over the New Orleans average. Violent crime is 539% over the national average, which is somewhat understandable considering the large population. On number two on our list, we have St. Rock. St. Rock is located in the eighth ward and is also filled with a lot of polarizing history. This area has a population of 6,300 people with a crime rate that's also 112% over the city's average. The total crime rate is 365% higher than the national average, making it number two on our list. We also gonna be dropping the documentary on St. Rock probably sometime in 2021, so make sure y'all be on the lookout for that. Now coming in at number one. Number one on our list is of course Central City. Central City is a neighborhood of the city of New Orleans. It's located at the lower end of Uptown, just above the New Orleans Central Business District on the lakeside of St. Charles. This placement isn't surprising due to the fact that it's been number one for decades. This is the most populated area with over 13,000 residents. The crime rate is 121% over the local average and 420% over the national average. Violent crime is 566% over the national average, making this placement very logical. To be 600% over the national crime average is crazy. And it's perfectly understandable why this is our number one spot. So we're almost at the end of this video. So I just basically wanted to give a little commentary spell on where is the most dangerous wars in the city and why is that so if you paid attention to the list you basically saw that the reincurrent places were located in the ninth war in the east people who know the research know that the east is technically still the ninth war so the most dangerous war in new orleans in 2020 is the ninth war because we have about seven placements from hood specifically in the ninth ward and my theory behind that is that after everyone was displaced with katrina and uptown they moved to the east you know they moved to the nine the nine was already pretty bad but it was also untouched it wasn't really taken over by the city so a lot of those hoods remained what they were minus the projects getting torn down so when you just look at everybody that was in the uptown hoods and the projects before hurricane katrina hit a lot of those people got displaced on the east and the west bank if the west bank was technically new orleans i'm sure we would have seen a lot more west bank hoods on there but since it's not a lot of these places are going to places in the east and downtown where the crime rate is ridiculous so make sure y'all tap in with this research and y'all see how these hoods change and don't be running around here thinking that the magnolia and the calio is the most dangerous places to be in right now because you could be sadly mistaken and you're gonna end up somewhere where you don't want to be if you go to our website you can check out the full list revealing 11 through 20. the website is in the description if y'all want more information on the rankings that they got the grades that they got and a little bit more information about these neighborhoods you can just click the link in the description and take you to our website with more information i hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if i should do more new orleans themed countdowns i'll put a list of potential options on the screen for you to choose from so let me know in the comments what you think and also don't forget to use the nola hoods promo code to get 20 percent off our custom deck of new orleans plan cards thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe Thank you.